What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you guys could drop a like or a thumbs up on this video if you guys liked it, I would really appreciate that as well. It would really help me out. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our MLB The Show 20 content that's going to be on the channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely great day, and thank you guys so much for watching my videos. What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys where you might have some hidden subs lying around on your account, and stuff that you just might want to get rid of to make some extra subs quickly. Um, it's just some stuff to... It's basically this video is going to be talking about cleaning up your binder and getting subs that are just laying around on your account, and just it's nice. You can get a nice little boost of stubs on your account by doing this. Um, so we're gonna talk about cleaning up your binder and stuff like that to get some extra subs. The first thing that you guys can do, if you have a lot of the players already, if you have a lot of the players already, especially if you've done a lot of the collections already, go to the collections and for all of the created players, all these missions, even if you're not gonna, even if you're not going to complete um you know i'm probably never gonna make a left fielder right so anyways though i've already got all these cards no sell you can get a decent amount of stubs by going through and just collecting all these collecting all the bronzes you know collecting all the silvers and golds especially if you already have them no sell you're gonna get a nice like chunk of stubs from this honestly you might get 10 20 30k depending on where you're at with creating created players, you're gonna get a nice chunk of stubs and you already have them as no sell anyway. So you might as well go ahead and just do these collections to get some stubs for that. So that was a, a nice uh, nice little boost that I ended up doing yesterday. I already have them no sell, just free stubs lying around on your account. Um, another thing that uh, we should talk about as far as subs goes is in the My Player collection. Uh, what I did today was I cleared out basically all of my free agents that I could that were uh, not no sell. Uh, you might have a lot of these lying around as well. Um, pretty much you can do an exchange for all those. So you can go to the exchanges. You can go ahead and exchange all your commons. Go through your binder basically. Sell all your cards. Just uh, don't you know? Don't go into the market and then just don't do this basically. Don't go into the market and we'll just use for example. Um, we'll start at like a, let's say you have like a 63 common, um, and he is on the, the reds. Let's say you have Kyle farmer, go through your account, put him up for 44 stubs. Don't sell these cards for 15, go through your entire binder, clean it out. Make sure you put it up at 44. They will sell really fast. I can't even tell you how many orders I had today that sold through. I mean, tons of orders, like almost instantly. So I got a big order up right now. I'm trying to buy that Andrew Miller card. But go through and do that. Once you've cleaned out all this, all the, uh, once you've sold all your commons, once you've sold all your bronzes, all your silvers, all that kind of stuff, you're going to have a lot of them left over, but you really don't want to sell uh, the free agents. I don't find selling free agents to be worth it. So you can go through and exchange all of your common free agents. The only two free agents I wouldn't, um, th th that I wouldn't just uh, exchange are Stephen Wright and Ryan Fierbrin because both those guys throw knuckleballs and a lot of people will buy those cards. So just, I wouldn't even, uh, I wouldn't exchange those, but the rest of the commons I would exchange all your no sell commons. I would exchange same with the bronzes and silvers. You know, you might, I had like 200 and some free agents. So make sure don't do the free agents collection, just exchange them. And, uh, as you go through this, you're going to be able to exchange them for, you know, silvers that you can sell. Bronzes are actually going for a lot still. So it's really worth it to do that, to get some extra stubs. And then also, you know, exchange your silvers that you have that are no sell to go ahead and get gold players. And then you can take those and resell them in the market. So that's a really good way of clearing out the binder as well. Um, equipment wise, I would pretty much sell, you can sell in the market. Almost any gold equipment will still go for a decent amount. As far as stuff like this, I would just quick sell these extra bats. You don't need them. I, you don't never keep in your bind your stuff that you're not using. I wouldn't just keep it around. You know, keep your best bat that you have. Keep your best batting gloves. You know, get rid of all of these like this kind of stuff. Just quick sell it. Nice quick twenty five stubs. Um, let's see. Got my 
diamond glove there. Uh, do we have anything else? I'm, pr I'm doing a pretty good job of already clearing it out. But go through here and just get rid of this extra stuff. You know, get rid of these leg guards. Never going to use those. Put them up for 62. There's a lot of stuff like that that you really just should get rid of. And you shouldn't have on your account. And I would go through and clear your binder out maybe every couple of days. Uh, maybe right as you hop on the game, it's a good thing to just go ahead and clear out the binder. Always put them up for the orders. Don't just get rid of them. Even if it's like, let's say this was 114 and 104. Like, let's say the sell now was 104. It was a 10 stub difference. I'd still put it on the other side. I still would put it on the other side as much as possible. Stuff sells so fast right now. It's crazy. I'm, I don't even remember the last time stuff has sold this quickly uh, in the game. So make sure that you guys just put up those orders like that. And also, we're going to take a look at, I think, the unlockables. This is, you want to talk about a place where you can pick up a lot of stubs from a bunch of crud that's just on your account. The unlockables is definitely one spot where you can do that. Um, especially like the uh, the nameplates. A lot of these, I don't think I have one right now. It's a quick sell. But a lot of these nameplates, like this kind of thing, um, this thing goes for like 500 subs, you know, like all these go for, if you can just quick sell them for 500, a quick 500, if you've got a lot of extra nameplates, I really highly recommend you quick sell them because there's no real point to have them on your account at all. Uh, same with the icons. The icons go for a lot too, like a gold, this thing right here, there's like bowl icon goes for like 500 quick sell. So it's just like, why not get rid of it for 500? I mean, you only need one icon. You don't need a ton of icons. Just go ahead and quick sell those. Um, I, I don't know if I can quick sell this one. Quick sell one. Quick 100 subs just for selling that thing. Like, <laughs> I'm never going to use this thing. 100 subs right to my pocket. I'd much rather use that on a player or something like that. Uh, same thing with these home run calls. The only ones I ever keep, honestly, are the ones that are just no sell. And you can equip those for more fun, but it's just like you don't. How many of these things do you really need? It's a good thing to quick sell and get rid of. Um, so I definitely would recommend going through all these unlockables and quick selling those. There's just no need for that. Stadiums. Stadiums actually have been selling faster than I would think. Um, but again, there might be a ton of these bronze stadiums that you have built up, especially of the minor league parks. I would just quick sell those, you know, quick sell the duplicates of them you know pick up some subs from these uh the major league parks i would consider putting in the market because they will for some for for some reason these ones actually sell pretty quickly I, I don't know why the only thing is it's not a ton of stubs you can quick sell them for 25 and you might be able to sell them for like 70 so it's not exactly a ton of stubs but hey why do you need five major league why do you need five for example of the same major league park there's just no point to have them Good thing to just clear out your, your binder. Sponsorships, another thing, just to, a good thing to get rid of. These are quick selling for 500 gold. You are, um, a gold one's 500, a silver one's 100. If you're not even playing franchise, there's not a point. I've never even played franchise, so I don't know what, the, what these really even particularly do other than the budget bonus. I'm not sure like if there's one that's really good uh, in comparison to the rest of them. But most of them will sell. I mean, the diamond ones sell for over a thousand. Might as well get rid of those things too. No real need to have those on your account. The starter collections, if you haven't done them, I remember them being very, very easy to get done. You know, go through, throw some no sells on there, get some XP. Let's see, live series. Yeah, I just, I just would not do this one at all. All three seventy nine. I would not do this at all. Not at all. <laughs> Avoid that one completely. First inning, um, I would not do this one unless you really, I don't know how many I have for this. I don't know how many no cells I have. I know Tebow I got from that, but you can go through and see if you got some no cells on these. You go ahead and throw in there. I would not do anything that's not no cell. Do not put it in here. It's not going to be worth the 10,000, but I'm actually kind of close on that. So I'll do seven out of 10, get a little bit closer on that. Let's see. Uh, first inning wood, you can put him in. Uh, there was a, the Granderson one, um, got a hundred XP for that. So it wasn't a lot, but you do get some program starts from that Granderson one. Legends of flashbacks. I wonder how many of these I have now. 
Uh, let's see, how many of them are no sell? Eddie Matthews is no sell. I don't even remember getting that Cy Young. That Cy Young I got from Conquest, so I can toss him in there. Let's see. Damn, I have three Oral Hershizers. I got this from Conquest. Let me go ahead and put him in. Go ahead and do that. Let's see what else we got. Prospects. We were just looking at that. What's this McKenzie Gore looking like? Interesting. Dylan Carson. And he's a switch hitter. All right, let's look at rookie. We just looked at rookie, so two way on that. Let's see if we got some no sells for the breakouts. One. Adam Dunn. I haven't. Uh, I have to go through and sell a lot of those kind of like legends. I haven't gone through that on my binder at all. Like, and looked at those. So we got some no sell there. Hey, that's a quick. 200 XP for just cards that are just laid around no sell as it is. Why not? Uh, let's see. Did we just do all-star? No, we haven't done that. All-star. Nice. 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 That's pretty smooth right there. Uh, that That's a lot of what the point of this video is. Is go check. You guys, We've been playing the game for a while now. Probably got some of this stuff lying around. That can uh, get you uh, some XP and some hidden stubs. If you guys got some thing that I have missed in this too, uh, wow, we got a we got a ball in as a habit pack, literally just sitting on the account that I haven't even uh, I haven't even gone through to look at. <laughs> wow, let's uh, we're gonna let's go open that. Let's go open that and hopefully pull some fire real quick. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and open this. And we got a gold Andrew Miller. Maybe that's a good sign that someone will sell me the Andrew Miller. There's so many cards like this. Reyes Montoya. Like, all, there's so many bronzes. If you got a lot of extra bronzes, they're going for a lot of subs. They're going for way more than they should because a lot of people are still either trying to do the collections or they're trying to get stuff for team affinities. Bronzes are going for a lot. So I'd highly recommend uh, looking at those as well. Just going through your binder and selling those. All the cards that are part of a team collection, make sure you sell them in the market for top price. They will go very, very fast. Your free agents, I'm going to need you to go ahead and exchange your free agents into better players so you can open up bronze and silver and gold packs. That's going to be your best route on that. As far as your inventory goes, Sell every piece of equipment you're not using. Quick sell silver stuff. Quick sell silver stuff. Sell other every other piece of equipment you're not using. My sponsorships, just sell all of them. There's no need to have any of them at all unless you're playing franchise. And even then, I have no idea. I never even hear anybody talk about those things. All this stuff, sell this stuff. Keep your no-sell stuff, and if you want to use that, use that. But for the most part, sell this stuff or quick sell it especially especially you know the home run calls especially icons definitely quick sell icons and definitely quick quick sell nameplates those things are just you don't need it why why would you have a bunch of them if you ever need one and want it back you can just go and buy it out of the market for 500 so it's like there's no point to have those at all they're not going to sell in the market you can sell stadiums pretty well. Honestly, you can sell a stadium. It's just there's not that much of a markup on it. So if you want to quick sell them, you could. And then also, you know, I would quick sell all of the minor league stadiums as well. There's no point to have like 10 of them. It's just subs are laying around on your account. If you've done a lot of the faces of the franchise and they're no sell, you can start to put them together in here. That's, you know, I don't know if anyone has 10 of them done yet. That's quite a bit. I only have three of them right now, but they're already no sell as it is. Might as well put them in until we get closer to five. We got some veterans right here. No sell, no sell, no sell, no sell, no sell, no sell. This Frank Thomas is, so is this Frank Thomas sellable? Let's go look and see if the Frank Thomas is sellable, to be honest with you. I don't think he is because I got him from Conquest, but like maybe he is sellable. I wasn't into. I I have a feeling he's not sellable. Let's go over to the Oakland A's. I I just can't imagine that he would be sellable if you get him from Conquest. I think I locked in that Ty Cobb. 
just a moment ago, but let's see. I passed the Oakland Athletics. Where's the Athletics? There we go. Yeah, he's definitely not sellable. I can't even. I'm trying to hit X right now, and uh, he's not sellable. So let's go back to that. Collections, Legends and Flashbacks, Veteran. Um, the ones that are sellable. Obviously, the ones that are sellable, you know, the Willie Mazes, some of these other ones that you get from uh, one of those Legends and Flashback packs. I really wouldn't know. Um, mess around with uh you could well you could, i would probably just sell these honestly let's see if we can view a marketplace yeah i just sell this 171 sweet i will take that all day jimmy fox same thing 177 i will take that all day that card babe ruth 139 how about it let's get it sweet what have you guys been flipping, man? What have you guys been flipping? Have you been flipping anything that's a good uh, thing to flip? Let me know down in the comments below. Ah, uh, man. This one. What a weird one. This one doesn't seem worth it at all. Let's see how many no-sells you could possibly get. That's not a no-sell. Not a no-sell. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Charlie Morton's going to be no-sell. Uh, that one does not seem worth it at all. I would avoid that postseason one with a pa with a passion. Don't do that one. So it looks like I got a couple of those to sell. Let's sell some of these. We can sell them right there. Listing not found. Where do you get this one from? Why is the listing not found on that? That's weird. I guess I'll lock in that buys. I'm not sure why that is. To be completely honest with you. Got a couple of Francos to sell. This is a good card. I guess I'll lock him in. I don't know. Vigio. Vigio kind of looks like Matt Damon in that picture. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going nuts. Let's see. Three of these Oros to sell. Two, four, seven, four. Two, four, seven, three. And this is what you do. You always put them up like this. Set them and forget them. They'll be sold. Before you know it, they'll be sold, man. It's just the way to go. On both sides. I don't care what the other side, the other uh, part of it says. I guess I'll wait for another no sell. I'm trying to think of like who that would be. Kind of would like to get some more XP. You guys have a... The best ways to get XP, I'm trying to figure that out right now too. Without using like some kind of weird glitch, like just regular good, you know, good above board stuff to do to get XP. I guess. Listing not found. I don't know why that is. I don't know where I got that card from, but whatever. All right, so we got a lot of those. What other collections? Bat skins avoid. Don't do this collection. Don't do this collection. Um, Legends of flashbacks. We did a lot of those. Prestige. I mean, if you got these, you can toss them in. Definitely can toss them in. Stadiums. I still haven't done the classic ones. Uh, <clears throat> I don't even know how much these are going for now. Probably more expensive than it's worth your time. Make sure you do the collections for the the other stadium collections though. I would probably I would do these two. They're not hard at all. And uh you might as well get the subs from them. The unlockables and equipment. Um don't do bad skins. Um I don't know. That kind of adds up after a while, but it's like you probably get a lot of them. Let's see. The gold ones are where it's going to be really expensive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you bought them all at 25, um, how many stadium sounds do I have? No sell. That's a quick seven. 
That's a quick seven for no cell. We'll take that. Music and notes name playing. Okay. Audio calls. Another no cell. Gonna get a lot of stuff like audio calls from programs as we go throughout the year, so I wouldn't go and stress about getting those. Got a no cell bat. When do we get another bat? Hmm. I wouldn't collect those. I wouldn't collect the batting gloves either. I wouldn't collect the gloves, the cleats, the catcher's mask. I wouldn't really do that. Compression sleeves. No, I, I don't do a lot of these. Those are not worth it at all. The rituals. You can collect that one time, huh? So I, I guess go through your anything that's no sell that you can put in these collections. Go ahead and collect any. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it for these. That's just it's just not a good idea. But you can uh, do definitely knock out these. That was good. These were pretty easy as well. Another just spot where you, if you have no sell, a nice spot to go ahead and pick up some stubs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have another spot where I'm missing, can you put it down in the comment section below so that we can all benefit and make more stubs at the end of the day? That's what it's all about. Get some, getting some subs to get some better players. I've cleaned out my entire binder, honestly, and I'm now going, I'm trying to get this Andrew Miller. I don't know, is my bid the top bid? It is, but I'm probably paying, oh my God, the seller for Andrew Miller went through it and my heart just jumped. <laughs> I thought we were about to, I thought we were about to get that. I am not paying 249. First of all, I don't have it. And I think 12, one, two, three, zero. Someone just outbid me. Don't you just love it? I'll go back up a little bit over that, but I'd really like that card. 1203005. I need to do that carry wood program, man. I need to do that. I need to, there's so much stuff that I've been let me know if you got I, I don't know. I've been playing a bunch of ranked seasons, but I need to do a lot of this stuff. I need to do the wood program. There's so much offline grinding that I need to do. Because mostly I've just been playing ranked seasons, but I just, you know, I like to go back through and actually, uh, I like to do the grinding. I like to do the grinding, all the moments, all that kind of stuff. I like to do that stuff. So I need to get that done. Like I'm probably one of the few people out there that's actually done all the conquests. I love doing that stuff. So might be time to do some of that stuff. I really need to pick up XP. That's kind of one of the things. All right. I'm going to end this video. I'm going to end this video. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.